And the recording is in progress. I got to get, get all warmed up here, right? Got to be that way. Anyway, hello, everybody. How are you? This is our um, Monday show. We're not going to do one next week, I don't think, because we'll be in Europe. But if I can do it, we'll do it. But if not, you know. We've been done these for the last couple of years, every single week. We've been really good about it, so maybe I can take a week off. But we'll figure that one out. Anyway, we have a lot of people to admit here. My God, they're all wanting to talk today. I wonder what they're going to want to talk about. Here we go. Let's see here. How many we got initially? This Marjorie and there's Scott Boddicker. Hello, Scott. Charlie Wallace is adjusting his audio. Uh, Paula. Hello, Paula. How are you? Good, Alex. How you doing? Edward Berger. That's right. Oh, you didn't hear me. Okay. That's right. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, boy. That's your catchphrase. Yeah. Uh, we, we've got uh, 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 Andrew Deutsch and Len LaFrisco and Francine Witt, John Ewing, uh, Charlene Solis, and Mandy O'Brien is working her ass off. <laughs> <laughs> you took you took your whole apartment to France? Huh? <laughs> Next week. Next week. My ear. Oh, I, thought, I thought it was this week. I can hear everything everybody's saying. Uh, I tried to do it without the earphones, but otherwise I start getting feedback. So, yeah, I need, I need to leave a little bit early. I want to tell you ahead of time. Oh, you can't do that. I'm sorry. You know, <laughs> you have. Can I, can I see your hall pass, please? I mean, <laughs> really? What, what am I paying you for? <laughs> and you get, you, get, you, you get your money's worth. You get your money's worth. Says Anne entered the waiting room. I think this is somebody we know. I I think this is Anne, Anne Coulter. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, my daughter gave birth this morning at five thirty. Oh, my daughter I'm gave birth. Grandfather. Congratulations! Oh. My daughter oh, gave birth on Saturday. Yeah. It's, a it's, a it's a boy. Congratulations, boy. Is that your first grandkid, Charlie? What's that? Is that your first grandkid? That's my first grandkid at oh, seven wow. years old. Yes. I I had I had a, a grandson born on Saturday. Wow. Great. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Well, <laughs> how old are you, grand folks? Uh, my my fourth will be here in January. Pop pop. That's kind of cute. Yeah. <laughs> So is this the first time, Charlie, that you're a grandfather? Yep. Yep. Wow. Well, that's amazing. He, since he was 38 years old. <laughs> wow. Your son is 38 years old? No, my daughter's 38 years old. Daughter's my son's still years. out there playing the field. So. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> they, all, they all start late in that generation. Yeah. Oh, but that's, you know, that's uh, that's good. That's terrific. We don't, Marjorie and I have never known that. Um, but, uh, you know, if I, if the kid that I thought that I had when I was 19, and I could be, probably be a great grandfather, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are your kids? What else do you want? Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> EJP. Nice, oh, Vernon Nunn. There's Vernon. And, and, uh, a, a DJT here must Donald be. Donald J. Trump. <laughs> Donald J. Trump. Trump. Yeah. That's got to be Giller. Let's see. Let, let, let's see who it is. Let's, uh, let's take prepare it. Prepare to hit the dump button. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to prepare to hit the dump button. There's DJT. <laughs> and, uh, am I going to have to remove them? <laughs> that, oh, no. Certainly wanted that to say that I'm trying to talk. Excuse me. Oh no! no, no. <laughs> I'm scared to talk. <laughs> it's not uh, Halloween my, anymore. My great son Baron told me about podcasting, and he said that I have to go on the Donald on the on the Alex. Uh, uh, what is it, Alex? 
Alex Schwarzman, whatever it is. He, he said, I love the Jews. The Jews are totally the best. Still, I don't like them anymore. Silence, I'm talking. Anyway, I just wanted to tell everybody, please vote for me tomorrow. There's no reason to vote for Kamala. She's a bad Kamala. <laughs> and I want everybody to vote tomorrow. Make sure you do. And uh, everybody looks great there, but not as great as me. I'm the greatest. Make America like me. That's totally what I want to see. Okay, back to what you were doing, and I will see you later. Uh, oh. <laughs> All right. You can, you can take the mask off. I'll right. take some questions now. Who has questions? <laughs> Nobody? Okay, okay I'm not taking any questions. Got to get out. I'm curious if you know Albert. Have you ever met him? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That, that was, was funny. funny. Uh, that was good. You know, I got to tell you about Albert. Albert is the first guy I ever knew who did a Trump impression. Uh. And it was perfect. Hmm. Uh, and uh, it would sound better if he didn't have that mask on his mask face. On, yeah. But... Uh, um, I, I, that, 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 that you you're seeing the guy the first guy i ever knew who ever did a trump impression and he did it on our show here in new york oh. yeah so anyway is everybody how, i hope we get albert back or he gets back to us uh but anyway um uh how y'all feeling are you all uh jittery or upset? i'm confident over the moon i liked what geller said on friday what was that? Go ahead. Maybe oh, he, he, he was quoting he was quoting some uh, some information that uh, that apparently is not involved with polls, but the things that were making him feel a whole lot more confident. Yeah, Kamala was going to win. Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, at this point I can safely say she's going to win the the uh, what do you call popular, it? Popular, popular. popular. Oh yeah. yeah. But you know, it's still all in that uh, that problem with. Uh, oh, here we go. Here, here. Oh, here comes Albert. Uh, but it's still, still oh. DJP. It's a shame he missed that Trump thing. He would have liked it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he would have. He would have liked it. Albert, still the best impression of Trump ever. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm making a ton of money off that. By the way, <laughs> you know, you know what I got to mention, and I've said this before. There are all these guys, late night talk show hosts, who try to do an impression of Trump, like Seth Meyers. I want to write Seth Meyers and say, would you just stop <laughs> doing Trump? You do it terribly, you know? And then uh, what's his name? Uh, um, I think Fallon does a Trump. And uh, uh, Colbert, Colbert definitely does a Trump. Colbert does one too, yeah. Kimmel doesn't. Kimmel doesn't. I'm on the record of saying I do not do a Trump, so don't <laughs> don't think that I have any I have any good Trump going on. You were the many first, many times. You many were, many times. You were the yeah. first person I knew who ever did him, and you nailed him. Well, there was only a few things you needed to know back then. You know, it was many many people. And the, yeah. the peas, he's very good with the peas, and just say the blacks <laughs> love me, and that that you know that that was always my Trump. That's all I had to say because that's that's what we had the clips of. So I just impersonated the clips. Yeah, and now it's a good thing. Nope. It's a good thing you do it, Albert, because Melania won't do him. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, now now to do the impression, right? You got to perform some sort of an act on a microphone. So yeah, well, yeah, really. Here we go. Well, you could always dance. When he does his dance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoever told him that was hip and in. Does it matter? No, it nobody ever tells him anything, so it doesn't I, matter. I'd hate him doing that as much as I hate Seth Meyers doing Trump. So, you know. But anyway, you know, the, the, the good thing about tomorrow is mm. whichever way it goes, it's all over. Yeah, hopefully. Is oh, it? The, no, the court challenge Maybe. is start. Yeah, it's the start. Yeah, start of the court challenges. Come if on, you, if he loses, we're gonna have months of this. Oh, if he loses, it's 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 gonna be hell. If he wins, uh, you know, 
then forget about that option because that's not but, happening. But here, but here's yeah. a good thing: if he loses, he gets sentenced on November twenty second. So bye bye. That, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Well, even if he wins, he gets sentenced. Yeah, it. but he'll take that to the Supreme Court, and they'll say, "Well, he doesn't have to serve his time." It's till a state court. It's yeah. a state court. He yep. can't yeah. appeal to the Supreme Court. Quite frankly, I don't know why he wants to be president. I don't think he's going to live to be live out the whole term. Nope. Well, yeah. Which is even more scary than we get JD. Right. Yeah. Oh Jesus. Well, you, so, you know. meanwhile, meanwhile, the the, the um, Saturday Night Live thing with Maya Rudolph was wonderful. Oh, that was, so great. Great. That, that was great. Oh, so good. Yeah. I'll tell you what I what it, I it, judge it, my my no more drama. Line. It yeah. became a scum. <laughs> what? <laughs> what I always have um, determined is my reason why I vote for anybody for president is if they go on Saturday Night Live or they go somewhere and they've got good timing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, Obama had perfect timing, perfect mm -hmm. comedy timing. He knows how mm -hmm. to do comedy. It's mm -hmm. a name. Uh, would you agree with that, Albert? He really knew how to do comedy. He had good yeah, time. If you if you view the the correspondence dinner that he that he jumped on Trump, that was brilliant. Yeah, the thing <laughs> about it is he might not Trump might have not have decided to run for president if it wasn't for that correspondence. <laughs> well, I wouldn't take it away from him. Yeah, me neither. But if I could go back to the future, I would go tell him don't don't, don't pull that Trump joke. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Um, but. Uh, uh, she had timing. That 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 was the important part about it. Yeah, she was funny because she had timing, and uh, she seemed comfortable. And uh, I appreciate that. I'll, could be my, could, huh? could Maya Rudolph be more spot on? I mean, she's unbelievable. Oh, she Perfect. Yeah, yes. she was. She's done a pretty good job of it, you know. And uh, she hasn't nailed it by being specifically overboard about it. Right. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. She just has it right. And when the two of them were next to each other, it looked pretty convincing, you know? Yeah. The only thing that was better than that was, of course, uh, Sarah Palin being done by uh, Tina Fey. Oh, yeah. That was amazing. Which, when they were side by side, you couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> yeah. Did you, well, did I you see that the, the head of the FCC, who Trump had you know, appointed, went after NBC and said, you broke the yeah. rules for fair right. uh, fair yeah. time, and now they have to offer Trump a minute and 30 seconds to... <laughs> I the so fairness so doctrine was There's repealed. There's no more fairness doctrine. That was the fairness doctrine was repealed under Bill Clinton. Yeah, it was. And the thing is, was he going after them on the fairness doctrine? Yeah. yeah. There yeah. isn't a fairness doctrine anymore. I didn't know that. No, it doesn't exist anymore. You're absolutely right, uh, Whoever but said. they gave they gave him the minute and a half though. I but I'd, I'd welcome Trump to go on Saturday Night Live. See how that go, how that works for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know the point is that um, I imagine that he was offered. Yeah, could be. Yeah, I'm sure I he doubt it. offered it. No, I it, it. they knew that if they were bringing her on, they had to offer him the time, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm sure they did, and I'm sure he turned them down at the time. He has no sense of humor. He's hosted it before. Yeah, he hosted, he hosted it. it. Mm -hmm. Yep. It was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was. How could it? How could that be true? He was dancing in a chicken suit or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> that was funny. Alex, the fa the fairness doctrine is gone, but there is an equal time rule. Yeah, equal time. Spe equal specifies time. American radio and television must provide equivalent access to a competing political candidate. So if they if they broadcast a message by one, they have to offer the time to the other. Well, was that a message by her? Well, I oh, don't know. It, it certainly yeah. was by by Maya Rudolph. She flat out said you got to vote for it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a different story altogether. Yeah. Uh, that's Maya not Rudolph. getting equal time for her for uh, Kamala being on. Mm. You know. Yeah. Yeah, well, he should he should go on Saturday Night Live next week and see how it affects the election tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's suing CBS. No, that too, ten billion. Ten billion dollars for, for editing the news. 
Who, who's who's sues for not even us the uh, the uh, uh, what do you call it for the company the uh, election machine company didn't yeah. sue, uh, Fox Dominion Dominion Dom, Dominion yeah. for ten billion dollars you know I mean it was you know, it was an interesting one the the Kellyanne Conway was interviewing her daughter on Fox News a couple weeks back mm -hmm. and that got edited because the daughter kept saying what horrible things about, about Trump. Mm. And they edited the, the thing down to make it almost sound like that didn't even happen. Well, which daughter? Well, the daughter of who? The daughter, the daughter oh. of Kellyanne Conway, who, oh, okay. who spoke out, who spoke out against Trump. Well, they had an interview about politics and she said something horrible about, about him. And they edited it in a way to take it out that it actually sounded like a compliment. Mm -hmm. She was being interviewed on another show and said, "Well, when I went back and listened to the interview, the stuff that I said wasn't even in the do interview." That? How do you do that as a news organization? Well, they're I not a news organization. They're not. Yeah. Any interview thing they consider to be entertainment. That's how they get around it. Really? Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's how Hannity. Hannity's considered an entertainment show, not a news oh, show. Not news. By the I way, just... if if your if your wife, guys, if your wife votes for someone that you didn't tell her to, she's cheating on you. Yeah. <laughs> I just listened to a um Ezra Klein interviewing John Stewart this afternoon. Oh wow. Really would recommend it. I, there's two brilliant guys and they both made a tremendous amount of sense and it's it was really a well spent hour. Yeah. By the way, we have what 16 people here now. Yeah. This wow. is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Everybody when when, to... when do you, when do you guys leave? When do we leave, Marjorie? For, uh, Thursday. Thursday. Right. And we're back Friday. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> well, actually, what happened is we <clears throat> decided, here's how it happened. Marjorie looks over at me in bed, as she often does, <laughs> in, her, in, her, in her reverie, says to me, you know, it's my birthday coming up, and rather than dinner, why don't we go to Paris? <laughs> <laughs> I said, as a as a birthday present for you? She says, yes. Okay. I said, fine. Let's go to Paris. <laughs> so we make all the arrangements to go to Paris. Then she says to me, so what are we doing on my birthday for dinner? Uh, <laughs> double dipping. I, I, sa I said, I thought dinner no. at the Eiffel Tower maybe was it, you know, but. Hot dogs. Says, no, I know. I could, we got to have dinner, right? So she makes an appointment for a restaurant across town. Mm. Not thinking that it was the Not marathon. Not thinking yesterday. that the marathon was running. <clears throat> and to get there takes forever because you got to go all the way downtown and all the way. And so finally we go out to dinner. We get there for dinner. And I'm already, I'm a, I'm a mess, okay? Then again, I'm a mess. Grouchy. Right, you go twenty miles and you're a mess, and you're going five thousand miles to Paris. Wait, <laughs> wait till that happens. I'm really a mess on that. But anyway, so uh, um, now it's time to go home. So we grab a cab. It's now almost nine o'clock. You know, no more. I'm sorry. They still got the streets blocked off for the marathon in case there are some late runners. I say shoot them and let us get across. <laughs> so finally, we had to get out of the cab and walk about six blocks home, which oh, wow. neither yeah. of us are in condition to do. Yeah. And um, I was a mess last night, just an absolute mess after it was all over. So uh, that was Marjorie. I hope you enjoyed your dinner. Well, I did without your cranking and disgusting <laughs> attitude. Well, if you had paid attention to the traffic, I would have. Apparently, the Detroit, the Detroit Pistons had to get on the subway to make it to Brooklyn to play their game last night because those were all the roads being closed. <laughs> well, Mar Marjorie, tell, tell us the truth. Did he let you supersize the meal? <laughs> i'll tell you what i figured i figured this last night as i was trying to go to sleep because i've been trying to figure out how could they do this and not impact most of traffic in new york city and i figured it out marjorie all they have to do, all they have to do is run it down first avenue they run it down fifth on the way home 
Yeah, but they do it in the middle of the island, and they and so nobody can get Alex, it. Alex, they do yeah, all five do. boroughs, and they end up on Fifth Avenue. That's the way it's always been. Well, they should end up on First Avenue, and then it won't be impacted <laughs> as much. Really? Not as nice. They, what do you mean it's not as nice? You know, you, you are you an anti First Avenue? No, but Fifth First? Avenue is nice as the last leg in the marathon. What do you mean? You go past hospitals. What's that all about? <laughs> you do not. You go past Central Park. I think past- be, I'm going to suggest it'd be just as nice. Go down first. Then you're not <laughs> impacting. Everybody's trying to get across town. Suggest it to the road runners. Look, uh, uh, ask, uh, ask uh, Francine here. She lives in New York. You, I, you- I, I actually live east of First Avenue. And mm-hmm. every marathon, I can't go anywhere. <laughs> I just don't even go out. Like, yeah. Because... I've tried it one time. I tried to. I walked over to First Avenue. I live one block from First Avenue. I tried to cross. No, can't do it. You could only go down to Fifty Seventh Street, but try to get a bus. And why is the? Can you answer this for me? Why is the marathon in November? I suppose it's cool enough. Maybe. No, that's the best time for running. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's cool. The best time you can't so, run with it. So she's a former right. runner, by the way. You you've run the marathon, haven't you? I've done two. Have you? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wait a minute. Wow. How far did you get? I finished both of them, Alex. No wow. kidding. That's wow, great. Marjorie. Good That's for wow. you. That's awesome. Did you hear how she talked to me there? Yeah. Hmm. You deserve it. Did you ever try to run the marathon, uh, uh, Albert? Are you nuts? <laughs> I'm exhausted if I drive 26 miles. <laughs> I don't even stand on the side with water. <laughs> Nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, well, I thought next year I'm going to run. I'll tell you why. If they don't have to wait till the last person gets through, yeah, in order to close down Fifth, uh, open up Fifth Avenue. It's going to take me at least five days. To run that. You'll, be, you'll be bringing up the back of the Macy's parade. That's <laughs> exactly it. <laughs> but I mean, that'd be, be del- <coughs> delightful. Sorry. You, you just uh, should have uh, gone to eat in, in Queens. Yeah. Or, or we should have eaten in the neighborhood here. But and, and she probably would have said that had she suddenly realized, oh, the marathon. But when she made the the appointment, you know, it wasn't what it wasn't. Uh, you didn't even think about the marathon, right, Marjorie? Right. And then all of a sudden, she woke up on Sunday morning and goes, "Oh, it's the marathon today." And going, "Oh, okay," and I didn't even think about it. And then getting across town was just forget it. Ugh. But happy birthday, dear. Thank you. And I actually have a video I should put up of you uh, getting your sparkles or whatever, you know. <laughs> what sparkles? You, you, you got, we got you a dessert. Oh, right. It's like a birthday cake. It wasn't. It was a birthday page, pastry. And then on top of it, they have this sparkler that goes off. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And then it dies. Yeah. You eat your cake. That was a very good dessert, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Very good meal. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, and and then she said, What do you how much do you think it's gonna cost? Okay. And I said, two hundred dollars. And the bill came and it was two hundred dollars and six cents. Wow. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Both showcases in my book. Well, I'm that's why I'm saying to yeah. our good friend uh uh, uh Edward Berger. Uh, that uh, next time you go to the Price is Right, take <laughs> it <with> you. <laughs> what day is that going to be on again? Oh, your mic isn't on. Your your mic isn't on, Edward. Yeah, we can't hear you. Where's your Where's your mic? Oh no, that's right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it look, it looks like his mic is on. I mean, the little microphone yeah, is not. Yeah. Now it's, yeah. No. No. His, his voice finally broke the mic. It's dead, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> it said the day after Christmas, wasn't it? 
Yeah, he did. It's uh, it I was, wrote it down. It's the day twenty sixth of the twenty seventh. Uh, ah, there it's working now. The, yeah. the, day, yeah, the day after Christmas and the day at twenty sixth and twenty seventh. Okay, oh, nice. the day after Christmas. Okay, so I'm gonna like tape it and then try and freeze a frame if I see you there. So you'll okay, sure of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everybody, I uh, had to jump on and jump off real quick. I got to go see a client. I just wanted to say hi to everybody, and uh, I hope that everybody survives tomorrow, no matter what happens. Don't forget to vote. He's from Venezuela. He can't we'll, vote. Uh, <laughs> we'll see in what two weeks? Because I don't know if I'm going to do one of these next week. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. All right, Alex, we won't be here next week. What? He won't be here. I said. That's what he just, I, yeah, yeah. Weeks. Well, either way, my friends, I'll see you on the other side, no matter what that looks like, and I appreciate you all very much. Okay. okay. Get the guest room ready, because we're coming yeah. up, Mike. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. God bless America and your, um, you know, wonderful neighbors to the north. <laughs> <laughs> what happened Thanks. to, uh, oh, wait, who, who, who do we lose beside you? We lost somebody. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 15. We're at 15. We're good. It was me. Oh, we I had one up. more. We had one more. Yeah, oh, sure. None. Here. He's coming back. Yeah. Okay. Hey, okay. thank Peace you very much. Uh, See you, Mike. Good Chisholm. Bye bye. Much love. Okay. Hey, bye. Anyway, so uh, yeah, tomorrow is uh, is election day here in the United States. Somebody, and I heard some comedian say something about that. It's like waiting for your biopsy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it, he's kind of right in a way. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm predicting at least 350 electoral votes for her. 350? Yeah. Wow. It, I'm, I'm somewhere between 350 and 380. Why? No. What? No. Well, you'll see. Yeah. Did Did you hear that Iowa is now yeah. for Trump? Yes. Yeah. yeah, Iowa, Nevada. Iowa's for Kamala. Well, Kamala. 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 Iowa. Iowa's with Kamala. Kamala. Uh, this yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I said it wrong. I said it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. think so uh, Georgia, Florida is close to flipping. the The total, the total potential of states that could flip would put her at three ninety five. So I'm, <laughs> I'm predicting three fifty. <laughs> it's rigged. It's rigged. That would be amazing. Yeah, but I, I don't. I, mark I, my word. I don't think it's going to be that good, but I hope. I hope. I it do. Is. It's going to be at least three fifty. That's my. Oh. That's my number. If that's wow. the case, then they'll, it, 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 what's Trump going to do? You Same know? thing. It's rigged. Pitch and moan. Pitch and moan. There's, there's thirty seven bogus polls that have him ahead in everything that he'll. Why, why do you call them? Going to use his, why his. Yeah. Why do I call him bogus? Because his people rigged the polls so that he would have an argument. They're not even real polls. Yeah. There's no. They only call people who lean lean right, and it doesn't get the matter. It doesn't matter. I've said for months and months and months. The only poll that matters is tomorrow. That's it. You're right. No, no. But if you want to contest an election, you need to have a bunch of fake polls to say, "See, I, I all of these polls said so. That must be fake." But don't all you have to? Don't you have to justify the polls if you're going to not, use? Not if you're a cheater. Face? Oh, not well. if you're a cheater. <laughs> That's the point. Is they're bogus. That's why I said they're bogus. Better because Trump it would be like if we did. Charge. Well, Alex, Alex no, did a no. poll here. Everyone in that unanimously voted was going to vote for her, so she's going to get 100 percent of the votes, and that's yeah. a poll. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, uh, and now let, let's go to Mandy because Mandy is in the state of Georgia. Yes. And uh, you, uh, you soon to be blue. I'm sure you voted ahead of time, right? I did. I voted last week. Sometime, yeah, did last week. Did you do it week. by mail? No, I went to a location. Oh, she, really? by, she was female. She's female. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you, at that location, how many women were there as opposed to men, do you figure? Can you remember? I can't remember. It was very close to the closing of it. Like, it was like 6, 5, 645, you know, they opened until 7. And mm -hmm. I ran in there, and it was like I didn't even have to wait. I just walked mm -hmm. right up. Showed my ID, got my card, whatever. It was probably maybe 10 people in there. Mm -hmm. How many of them were you say were women? What percentage? I mean, it was probably mostly women in there. I see that. I think about it. Yeah, that's a, that's a, uh, you know, kind of a sign of, of, of that women are voting in droves, you know. I just had to and rightfully so. When I drove in. Yeah, and they're not telling. 
Yeah. And they're not telling their husband. And they're not telling their husband. Yeah. <laughs> Bunch of cheaters. Like, like <laughs> Albert's wife didn't tell him that she voted for Trump. See, I mean, that, you know. Were you what? asking her about the women because you're looking for phone numbers? Alex? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. Can I, do, um, can I apologize to Charlie for yesterday? What do you mean? <laughs> yes. What did you do? Oh, tell us more. Well, George is just beat like crap. Oh. <laughs> First oh, they beat Lord. the Longhorns, and then they stomp on the Cowboys. What's and <laughs> and I was well, it wasn't Georgia, but it was South Carolina, a very close neighbor that beat A and M, and I was actually sad about that. You may not oh, be, but no. that's where my daughter works. So, wow. no, but yeah, I never watch the Falcons anymore, but I happened to watch yesterday. Huh. I was the whole time I kept thinking, poor Charlie. <laughs> well, Marjorie was all crazy over uh, over her Penn, Penn State, hey. Ohio. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they lost horribly. Uh, that was sad, too. Very much. Hmm. Well, you go to Penn State, Marjorie? Yeah. Oh, cool. I used to live in State College back in the late in the 60s. Really? Yeah, right near Lewistown. We used to go to the games all the time. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's funny. a great little... Oh, it's a wonderful area. What's it, 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 Let me ask you, Mandy, what's the atmosphere there? I mean, do you get the feel of the people around you and the Trump and the... Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, everybody's very just so sick of it. They're sick of them being here, and it just messes up traffic. We already have bad enough traffic as it is. Oh. Yeah. I yeah. think Trump was in Macon yesterday, and he brought out Herschel Walker. Oh, just... He already ruined that poor man by in the USFL, destroying the USFL mm -hmm. and made him run for Senate. And I don't know. He just, I almost feel sorry for Herschel Walker, but. Yeah. I'm so glad New York is a blue state because we didn't have any of that. I know. Yeah. I mean, it was great. Not a sign, <laughs> not a march, not a call. Yeah. yeah. I've got tons of texts constantly. And I mean that, when I when I say I'm sick of it, I'm almost sick of Kamala too. It's like, please stop asking me for money. <laughs> Just yeah. 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 God, I must have got three hundred emails over the weekend. Wow. <laughs> well, you know, we didn't get any. Hey, I, mean, I think we got a couple. I think we got a couple. Yeah. You know, uh, but it, but it, it, here in New York, they don't care about us. We're mm -hmm. we're we're going Democrat. California too, huh? And I was up for you too. You yeah. feel like they don't care about you, right? And it's it's so crazy. In parts of Georgia. I was up in the mountains this weekend. Mm -hmm. It's night and day. It's just all Trump. Just Trump, mm -hmm. Trump. Face, mm -hmm. face. Uh, it was horrible. Horrible. <laughs> well, there was a big there was a big Marjorie rally here. In Wait a minute. Is that Marjorie Taylor Green country? Well, I wasn't in that. I wasn't in Northwest Georgia. I was basically, I was, well, actually I was in Blue Ridge. Then I was in Murphy, North Carolina, actually, because, you know, oh. right over the line, you get into North yeah. Carolina. But just that whole area in general is like central Georgia, the northeast or north Georgia mountains. Up hey, in North Carolina. I got a good friend that lives in Murphy. That's an interesting little town. Yeah. I mean, it's, but like I said, it was just in your face everywhere. Uh, I imagine mm -hmm. you're, very, you're very sick of this election. I mean, more than we are. I mean, about <laughs> what we have to put up with here are congressional ads. And it's it's weird because they'll have the ad for a guy. Yeah. And it'll be followed by an ad against the guy. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I know in the I mean, old days when you bought time on radio stations or TV stations, they gave you a distance between you and your competitor. Like if you were a car company, mm -hmm. two car companies in the same commercial break. Those days have ended, haven't they, Albert? I see. And yeah, because because that business doesn't make any money. Yeah. Radio doesn't make make money anymore. They need the political advertising, and and mm -hmm. network TV doesn't make the money it used to make. Streaming is is where it is, and you know. You well, here's the here's the thing, though. You remember there was a rule that if they um, if they bought time, political party, 
political candidate bought time, say on a radio mm -hmm. station, mm -hmm. they were allowed to buy it at the lowest rate that station had charged for the time that year. Am I right about that, Albert? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. So that what happened was stations were very careful to keep the rates high so that when that, those days finally came, they could they had to charge the lowest price they ever charged for that time. In the, huh. in the year. In the year, yeah, yeah. So they were very careful about the selling time and selling it cheap because they, yeah. when that came up, they'd get ripped off. So you think of these stations making a fortune off all these ads, they're not making as much as you think. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah here there's that highly contested Senate race, Sherrod Brown and Bernie the Moron, and uh, it's constant ads for the, for that race. And Jared Brown's an, uh, a given winner in that one, isn't he? He no, seems to be ahead. It's, it's neck. Well, it's, uh, the last thing I, I read was that it was neck and neck. And that's making me very sick because he's such a good man. And this other guy is like a real crumb. Well, yeah, I did. I, I bought a car once from a Bernie Marino dealership and it was a nightmare. Really? I, could, I could tell you I could tell you stories of mm -hmm. just craziness. The uh, they, they they flat out lied to me to try to get more money out of me. They wanted to charge me $380 for a basic oil change. No, I thought, I thought for undercoating. No, no, it was, it was, well, the thing was the, the guy that I worked for supposedly was his friend. So he had given him the price for this company vehicle I was supposed to pick up. And I went in and negotiated anyhow, because I figured the number was wrong. The price he gave to his close friend was $3,000 higher than I got the car for. Jesus. So, you know, that's what happens when he's your friend. He charges you more. Wow. But, but I I had uh, uh, to do the service on do an oil change on the car. We wanted $380 for it. And I said, well, I'm going to take it to Jiffy Lube and just get it done. They said, oh, but if you do that, you'll void the warranty, which is illegal. Mm. They can't make you get the oil change. And I and then they said, and by the way, the, the little check engine light thing that comes on, you'll have to bring it in and hook it up to the computer and it's fifty dollars for us to turn that off. Mm -hmm. I went to get the oil changed, and I asked the guy, I "said Do you have the computer to turn the thing off?" He said, "Computer, just push the buttons on the on the steering wheel. There's no computer." Yeah. <laughs> so they, they they were going to charge me fifty bucks to to literally hit the hit the the menu on the on the steering wheel. Albert's nodding his head. Have you gone through this? No, but I but I you know anything that happens with my car, little lights come up. I look on YouTube and yeah, almost. Yeah. Every time you can press something somewhere in the car and you don't have to let anybody touch the car except for yeah. you. And it's yeah. not complicated. No, mm -hmm. no. But they, they flat out lied to try to get me yeah. to spend 380. The guy literally said the only way we'll turn the light off is if he didn't he use this word. He said, if you bring an affidavit from the guy who did your oil change that he followed all of the steps that are in there. He didn't say receipt. He didn't. He wanted an affidavit. I said, did you really use that word? And and the guy said yes. <laughs> what was the name of this dealership? Trump. What was Bernie it? Marino? It's a Bernie Marino dealership. This is the, the guy who's running for uh, Senate. Yeah, yeah. It's the uh, guy who rips off his friends and overcharges and uh, and I mean every every dealing I had with them was worse. He'll probably just lose for that yeah. reason from people who tried to well, buy. Well, the best the car was it was a company car. It was a Mercedes, and when I complained about the three hundred eighty dollars. I said, w in what world is an oil change $300? And the guy's response was, you are a Mercedes owner, aren't you? I said, is that synonymous? Is that synonymous with being an idiot? Is that what you're... <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I would never do business with... Then he came up a with a scam. Hold, hold on. He came up with a scam deal where instead of buying a car, you would pay $650 or $700 a month, depending on what class, and you would have a luxury car to drive and you could trade it in. And he go to the dealership... And swap it when you wanted to try and something else. Friend of mine who, who, who worked, yep. who I, it never, it never, it never happened. He just took nope. people's money. Old friend of mine who I work with on the uh, chat wrote: ninety percent of the time, the check engine light is your gas cap is not on correctly. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Eighty-seven and a third percent. I, I have the data. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's amazing! It's amazing. Yeah, meanwhile, the guy that he's running against, uh, uh, Sherrod Brown, is such a decent human being. I would hate like hell. And he, he, and he, he, he's supported by Republicans too. People, he, he's, he's, 
every time he's run in this red state, he's won. I well, know him. He's a good guy. Yeah. Well, let's hope. Look, gra granddad's asleep. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was up here with the crack of dawn. Yeah, I like that shirt, though. <laughs> pop, pop. Uh, is that what they're going to start calling you? Pop, pop? That's what I told her to call me. Yeah. Okay. How, much you, uh, how are you doing out there in Texas? Well, actually, it's the same state that Wallace is in. Yeah. It's, it's, it's nonstop Ted Cruz and Colin Allred all day long. I tell you. All through football games. Yeah. Every commercial break. Crazy. I hope yeah. Colin wins. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's close. I, but I'm sure Ted Cruz will pull it out. Like I said last week. Yeah. Pull out his ass. Yeah, well, you know, what can you do? You, know? you can't. Uh, but the, I'll tell you what bothers me about all of this, and, and we don't get that political on this show, but how can you avoid it today, you know? Right. Uh, I, uh, I, just, I, I, I just don't understand it. You know, Marjorie and I have made a joke about the fact we're going to, we're going to Paris, but if Trump wins, we're not coming back. Well, we have to come back. We have to get our clothes, but <laughs> have them shipped. Uh, oh, there, really? There is a good chance we might get ourselves like a house or something to rent in uh, in France or or Italy or or Spain, and just move there. Yeah. yeah. For the time being, we can't stay there forever because every how many how many months do you? It's a lot of states. Yeah, hundred and eighty days, I think. 180 days, but I think you can get some kind of residency there. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, I it's, it's and we kid about it, but it, it we're kind of it's it's kind of true. Yeah. We've looked into it as well. You know, I mean, um, I would hate to spend the last couple of years of my life not living in the country I grew up in. But I don't want to be here for this guy. I don't want to be here for the stuff he's going to do. You know. And as I said to Marjorie, you know, we, we really shouldn't worry about who wins or loses this election because at our age, we're not really going to have to suffer the consequences. But here you are. But, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, it's still, it, it bothers me overall that even if she wins, how many people voted for Donald Trump? In this country. Yeah, that's Way what I too yeah. many. That's most disturbing part of it. Yeah, Way it too many. Are you going to say, Francine? No, I was, I was just agreeing. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I mean, how are you going to deal with it? Uh, I, I I do know that uh, uh, mm -hmm. Vernon will have a bad time dealing with this. Uh, Vernon, how are you going to deal well, with it if he were to my, win? My, my son. My son married a Canadian, so we're 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 trying to see look into dual citizenship and maybe move up to Ontario where her folks live. Can you get dual citizenship with Canada? Oh, oh, she's oh, she's got relatives in Canada. Oh. Yeah. Well, she she's got she's got dual citizenship because her uh, mom was born in Nova Scotia and her dad was born in Boston. Well, let me ask you. So, all yeah. But they but they moved to spent most of her she grew up in Ontario. Let me ask you all a trivia question. Of all the people here, who do you think has dual citizenship? Mm. Any guesses? Mark. Mm. Andrew. Well, I would have automatic citizenship in Israel, but who the hell wants to live in Israel right now? Right. Mm. Oh, it's a, it, it, no, but actually has dual citizenship. I know. Jeffrey? No, don't ruin I'm it. No. Jeffrey? Hmm? No. My wife huh. has dual citizenship for Ireland. Oh, she has dual citizenship with Ireland. Right. She just oh, got wait a minute. Where are you going? <laughs> Howard? He's the answer. <laughs> Where did you go? To this other country. You're on mute, Albert. You're on mute, Albert. What did you need me for? Oh, I was just asking a trivia question. He's the one with dual citizenship, right? Swiss. That's uh. my passport. 
Now, how did you get that? How did you get dual citizenship? What was the deal there? I forget now. Well, I was dealing drugs when I was uh, visiting the <laughs> Swiss or, Switzerland. And, uh, <laughs> my mother was Swiss. Your mother was Swiss. So <clears throat> that nature, you are automatically, uh, you can get Swiss uh, Swiss passport. At right? the time, children of Swiss citizens were automatically Swiss citizens. I don't know if that's the case now, but it's a good one to have, I think. So, oh, why yeah. so you've got two two different passports. Mm -hmm. Now, why would you use that one? Well, let's find out what happens tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you have your answer. I, I and, you know, and you know, I went, I went when I went to visit you a few weeks ago. I went to the Swiss consulate to renew my passport. That's correct. In the event something crazy go happens, and, mm. and you know, people who say it, it, that can't happen here, well, yes, it can. It <laughs> happened. It happened uh, what eighty years ago uh, in Europe, so it can happen here, and it oh. happens constantly in South yeah. America in European countries. Yeah. So, it's, and it's just not just not Nazi Germany. It happens a lot in the yeah. in the world. Yeah. So think about it. And Charlie, I don't have dual citizenship, but I still have a green card for Brazil. Uh, <laughs> I got to go, guys. Lots of good luck on your no trip. See you and we'll see you in two weeks. Bye, -bye. Bye sweetie. That's uh, uh, Paula who <clears throat> taking <throat> us to Europe when we move. Uh, anyway, <laughs> if, uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen tomorrow? I... I, I like what uh, Andrew was saying. You know, I love hearing 390, you know, whatever, you know. Yeah. Sounds good. I I wish I believed that, you know. I, I do. I do. It's going to be at least 350. At least 350. Wow. Oh, you've lowered your estimate now. No, I no, said 350. I, said 350. I said 350 and as high as 390. Mm -hmm. And you give us a time on that. When can we expect <laughs> to see those numbers? <laughs> when they get published. Yeah, yeah, but what do you what do you think it's going to take? A couple of days. Here, 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 what's the over under it, on how it many? It should people? it should I would think by morning there'll be enough to know. Oh, based on states that are going to count quickly, and with by I would say by Friday, the because the Arizona we're not going to know for a long time. Excuse me, uh, Mandy. Yes. <laughs> it's the Unabomber. Yes. <laughs> 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 we're gonna buy some champagne just in case there you go well if if she wins you're celebrating and if he wins you're getting drunk <laughs> i'll be drunk that's right yeah yeah uh and now she's ready to go out it, the weather must be cooler there because it is it yeah. cooled down today it's real yeah. dreary yeah. Down down to a hundred? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what percentage of people have voted in Georgia. Do you know what percentage? It was a lot. I mean, I, I don't know the exact percentage, but it's I think it topped 2020. Yeah. Early did, you, voting. did you have mail in there too? Yeah, I actually had set my mom up for that too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they have it. Yeah, but I, I went in. I, I, you know, I could have done it, but I just went into. They had several locations all throughout the county. Yeah, we we sent off for mail in, and I I voted for you know Marjorie voted, and I voted, and then I voted for my dead mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, yeah, and so now you're off to teach your. Uh... Yep. Yep. Fighting off a little bit of a cold, but I'll get through it. Oh really? Oh okay. Those yeah. people depend upon you. Uh yeah, I guess. <laughs> All five of them, you mean? Oh really? Is that oh, good? <laughs> Sometimes I don't have a lot of people on Mondays. Yeah. Uh, do, well, how many days a week do you do it? Just two. Oh, she, but, she, she, yeah, yeah, just two days a week. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, we'll join you while you leave. No, I can let y'all go. <laughs> Stop sending us friend requests, Mandy. No, I'm I'm upset because Facebook. When I there's several people who have reported or told me they reported it, and I got an email saying they reported it, wow. and then they send another email that says first they say your friend reported this, we're going to look into it, we take this seriously, and then I got 
another email that said, you're no one's pretending to be you. So, wow. you know, I'm, I'm going, well, I didn't do it. So who did it? Yeah, I will do it again. I'm sorry. It's very weird. <laughs> <laughs> very strange. You know, you get them all the time, though, when you have a friend and all of a sudden you get a friend request from them. You're like, you know, mm-hmm. you know Marjorie, that's really? uh, things like uh, we're canceling your Netflix account. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we all get those. Yeah. Yes. And I keep telling you, don't worry about it. You don't have a Netflix account. I do. <laughs> yeah. You know, to begin with. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just changed my password. That's all I can do. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to. That isn't, it won't do anything. They just I, see you and they copy your friends list and go for it. Well, and with, well, yeah, well, nobody, nobody has said, you. hide your friends list. Mine's already hidden. So, I, or at least well, I think it is. I mean, it's, uh, I've got it set to that setting. So I gave up on Facebook 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And then when I tried to reapply, well, yeah, I tried to reapply. I tried to reapply on Facebook and, and they wanted me to send in all kinds of documentation and a blood type and a blood sample and all this shit <laughs> just to prove who I am. It's like, oh, what? Geez. Forget it. It's ridiculous. Stick, stick with your CompuServe account. It's good. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Um, I uh, you know, what was that other one? I How forget. about Earthlink? I, I used to have an Earthlink account. Prodigy? Remember Prodigy before, before oh. AOL? Prodigy. Yeah, well, yeah. Wasn't Prodigy, the first one to actually like make up discs that you could no. then put in your Pro- computer. And Prodigy was around before the internet. It was a bulletin mm-hmm. board. Mm-hmm. It was a what? So CompuServe oh. and Prodigy were, were BBSs, bulletin board systems. Yeah. Or something like that. <laughs> and then I was AOL got the idea of handing out the discs like crazy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I wish we could have used those discs for something else, but they weren't good for anything else. I went to an art exhibit. I went to an art exhibit where people made sculptures out of those discs. <laughs> it was, there were huge fish and all these things people made out. It was really funny. Wow. Down in down in Brazil, the yeah. truckers believed that if they hung those discs by the mirror in their car, that mm-hmm. it would reflect the radar and they wouldn't get traffic tickets. <laughs> Everywhere you went, these idiots had those things hanging in their truck windows. They uh, really believe that, huh? They, they did. They did. It's all right. They used to hang plastic bags with water in it at restaurants because it made the flies stay away. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you can't make that shit up. Yeah. So anyway, I mean, uh, uh, anybody doing anything interesting tomorrow to deal with the day? I mean, like, I know that... Uh, a friend of mine uh, who's on the night show a lot, um, uh, Josh, is actually getting himself and he and his wife a, a, a hotel room. And they're just going to hole up in the hotel room, watch the results, you know, and make oh. kind of a private party for themselves. Yeah. But uh, they keep saying this is the most important um, election of your time. Well, it is. Do you believe that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 Albert's going no. What was the most important of you? I, no, I don't. I don't say no. I do believe that. But you hear that every election. Yeah. yeah. You know, if if we hear this in four years, what is the world going to be like then? Yeah. If they say this is the most important election of your time, what what state are we going to be in then if that happens? But I do believe it in spite of the fact that we've heard it time and time again. All of my lifetime, I've heard that every single time. Yeah. One I, of the reasons I, I think that's it. One of the reasons that we keep hearing it over and over again is because of the freaking electoral college. Mm-hmm. Yep. And yep. if we pass the NVPIC, then the electoral college becomes moot. Who did I hear talking about that? The I see. It was Vernon. Vernon's brought it up. Yeah, a bunch it was of Vernon. Times. No, but yeah. there was somebody on television the other day, a politician who was talking about it and saying that that's what we've got to have. You know, and we're, we're only votes. fifty votes short. Oh, in we're case you know what we're talking right about, this is simply a compact among a bunch of states that basically are saying, "Hold on a second, because I got to bring in Don Giller here." Uh, that in, 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 they're saying that if uh, uh, they are all 
given in to this, they will give their electoral votes to whoever wins the popular vote. And so that right. bypasses the Electoral College because they are allowed to do that in their individual states. And, right. um, you know, hopefully that would that would solve the problem, because if we want to get rid of the Electoral College, we got to go back to Congress to, you know, change the Constitution and all of that. And this is an e this is actually an easy way of solving the problem. Yeah. The only bad part about it is, and Josh brought this up the first time I talked about it on your show, the only bad part about it is it's controlled by the state legislatures, so they could just as easy repeal their NPVIC membership as they can to vote it in right now. Yeah, yeah. I just, you it's know. It's not I, permanent. Uh, you know, I just always believed as a kid, you know, that, in, uh, that uh, I get my vote counted. And whoever gets the most votes wins. Mm -hmm. I, I even believed that years ago. I, I don't think we thought as much about the electoral college mm -hmm. as we used to. Oh, it's kind of. Hmm? It it's certainly really gets, rid, it gets rid of. It gets rid of the concept of battleground states. Yeah. I'm so sick of the term battleground states. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be about that. It should be about whoever gets the most votes. I don't want to feel that my future is dependent on Ohio. No horrible things mentioned here for people who are from Ohio. But, you know. Well, I'm from Ohio, and I actually, my SAT scores got me into the Electoral University, which is better than the other yeah. college. <laughs> Hello, Giller. How are you feeling today? Uh, these are my AOL discs. <laughs> <laughs> He collects them. I remember seeing that on your episode of Hoarders. That was good. <laughs> uh, you don't have any of the CDs, though, do you? Uh, probably not. Oh, probably not. I don't know. I mean, I, there's so Is much there crap. There reason? Can I just ask you, outside of the fact that you look like you could be a hoarder, okay? <laughs> uh, you think, Alex? Why you kept those? Because I can't say I have a single one in my, and I've saved a lot of stuff. Because I have no space. Oh, I see. Okay. How many rooms is your apartment? Here, my new date. <laughs> She's hot. <laughs> how how many? This is, this is a, a Letterman reference from uh, uh, Chris Elliott's Cabin Boy. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. By the way, let me ask. I have three you. rooms. Three rooms. Oh, okay. So you still have you filled them all up? Uh, we've talked about this. Uh, they're, they're not rooms anymore. They're corridors. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I who whose apartment did I go into? He was a famous film collector. He was a good friend of Shecky's, uh, and he was one of the major you know, film guys in the country when you wanted to know about the history of film and everything. And I went to his apartment one day. He had nothing but film cans stacked all over the living room. Just cans, nothing in them? No, they had films in them. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and one of them near the chair I was at, he just let me use as a coffee table. Oh, <laughs> was it Leonard? What's his name? No, it wasn't Leonard Malton. No, it wasn't Malton. I'm trying to remember his name now. I, I, I'd have to go and look. But I, you know, he, but he was, uh, he, he had film cans everywhere. Sheck me, Shecky took me over there and I went, and eventually he did give all his films to the library of Congress or something. So he finally got his apartment reclaimed. So you might think of doing the same thing, killer. You must have a lot of valuable stuff there that you could simply give to somebody or <laughs> somebody. He's going to hold something else up. Um, uh oh, two, two of my bookcases in, in my bedroom are collapsing. Actually, one already collapsed. Uh, and and one of those bookcases uh, were, uh, it was filled with uh bootlegs. Um, and but this is not a bootleg, and this this will make sense only to to diehard Beatle fans. Oh, wait a minute, Chris Barber. And on the back, uh, let's see. There's Lonnie Donegan uh, recording right. Rock Island Line. Mm -hmm. 
which was uh, the beginning of the skiffle craze. Uh, and there would have been no Beatles without the skiffle craze. Yeah, and, and Rock Island Line from this record is what they listened to. And it was, it was a seminal moment in their musical career. God. It, it, oh, this is worth a good 30 cents, I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. I'll give you 29. But it, <laughs> it has... Oh. Does it have sentimental value? Uh, no, not listed here. <laughs> <laughs> God, you are goofy. <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to think that my hair is starting to turn. <laughs> turn what? A, a different color than when I was uh, 10. Oh, well, it is <laughs> gray now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but there are a few darker spots in there. I'm seeing everyone here except for, well, all the men here anyway mm -hmm. are, are all gray-haired. Yeah, yeah. And I'm the only one here that's actually bald, I think. <laughs> I'm almost there. Huh? I'm almost there. You're almost there? Well, listen. Mm -hmm. You should have taken Avidart. Avidart? Avidart. Have a dart or or a finasteride. It's a finasteride. Uh, yeah, I mean that that's its successor, the cheaper cheaper uh, version. Well, I took a prostate pill that, in oh. fact, was also finasteride. Yeah, and, and I got prostate cancer, so go figure. Yeah, it didn't <laughs> not, didn't put a single hair on me. So. And it didn't put a, a single bit of hair on your head. Yeah. All right, so yeah. Uh, oh, time to go. The time to go, but before we do that, let's do some over-unders here. Now, I think you're all thinking and hoping that Kamala wins, right? Mm -hmm. Anybody yes. disagree with me there? Okay. So my question now is, what do you think that she's going to win by? And do you think she's going to win the Electoral College? Why am I asking? Yeah, why are you asking? Yeah. <laughs> Why am I asking? It's going to be what? Win by win the, 10 million win votes. The, what? You say she she's going to win by 10 million votes in hey, the popular vote. 10 million. How about Boniker? What do you say? I'm going to go 20 million. She oh. wins. Really? Yeah. Marjorie? I'll go with 20. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Burger? 20. 20? Ah, 20? I'll go with 20, okay. yeah. Uh, Andrew? 30. 30. Woo! 30 million. God. I trust I trust the women. Yeah. Um yeah. Okay, Len. I would say in the 10 range and, and electoral college wise, maybe 310, 315, something like that. Yeah, I agree with Len. Okay. Uh Francine. Yeah, I, I would agree with what Len said too. Yeah. Yeah. Um uh, and and uh John. I'll go with Len. <laughs> Uh, how about you, uh, uh, Charlene? Oh, I'll say 15 to 20. Mm -hmm. Mandy? I was going to say seven and a half million to nine million. Somewhere in there. Okay. okay right. price, price is right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I don't want to go over. Yeah. And I agree. It'll be, she'll get more than 270, mm -hmm. right? You can get more than 270. I think she'll get at least, she'll probably get two, 285. I don't know. Mm. Uh, I what yes, uh, Albert. I'm just going to say decisive and indisputable, indisputable mm -hmm. victory. I, yeah. I don't know numbers. I can't feel that, but I, but I definitely feel a decisive and indisputable victory. So nobody here has any uh, downside. Is uh, 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 Jeff? No, uh, I think my wife is uh, still chicken. I'm worried. I am. No, I'm still. Say that I'm we're still gonna, like we're going to get the 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 House and the Senate as well. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, I'm still Hopefully. expecting Hopefully. him to win. <laughs> you know why we're going to get the House and Senate on the abortion issue? Because yep. they go yes. in the vote when they go yep. in the vote, they're going to vote for people. The women are going to vote for people who are not, uh, uh, not you know, not for yep. doing away with the abortion. It has nothing to do with pol with which political party you are. Yeah. Women are coming out in droves. Hmm. Uh, 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 Vernon? I was thinking 15 million. 
Mm -hmm. And as far as the electoral count, I'll go with uh, Andrews 350. Oh, All right. okay. okay. Yeah. Well, God, mm -hmm. God, you know, your you're voice to God's eye, whatever that term. Well, one of the reasons <laughs> I, one, one reason I'm saying that, I just got back from Virginia, my two week stay in the mountains there. Mm -hmm. And back in 2016, there were Trump signs everywhere. Mm -hmm. There's a tent we drive for about 10 miles after we get off the interstate to get to our condo. And there was a Trump sign in every yard. Yep. This year, yeah, maybe about 10% of the yards. Yep. That was it. Wow. And how about, yeah. how about, how about uh, were, were there uh, signs for Kamala? Yes. As a matter of fact, I yeah. drove through this one little village and there was a Trump sign on one side of the street and a Harris sign on the other side of the street. I want to throw one more piece in there. I've got three Puerto Rican employees and I talked to four other colleagues of mine that have Puerto Rican employees. They were all supporting Trump and they are not now. They're all voting Kamala. Yay. I, have, I can't find anyone in, in my circle of friends from Puerto Rico that are doing anything but supporting her. And women are coming out in droves. That's, and not, bad. Not, That's not bad for an island of garbage. Right. <laughs> uh, and yeah. How about you, Geller? Uh, it's going to be an exact tie, and I wish I had uh, done early voting. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do early voting? No, I did. I did. Oh, he did. Hey, he did. <laughs> well, 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 no, you, I mean, yeah. you heard what I said on Friday. It's going to be a blowout. I, I'm not going to give any numbers because I think mm. it's silly. I'm I'm saying... 10 million is maybe good. I think uh, uh, probably Mandy, I'd go closer with hers, uh, but uh, I'm in the I just, I still think he might pull it out. I'm preparing myself. Oh, to... Mandy, don't even say uh, that. Oh, no, you know, I, he, you know he's going to pull myself. something out. You're I don't want to be like him. <laughs> what? what? The guy's a perv. He'll pull something out, but it won't be this election. <laughs> Uh, just, uh, I'm I'm going to do the prices right here. Uh, I'm voting one dollar. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's what they always do when they think they're gonna, yeah. I'll go one dollar. <laughs> anyway, oh, thank you. And Marjorie, thank you, thank you to Scott, thank you to uh, uh, Charlie, and congratulations on being a grandfather. <laughs> Andrew Deutsch, thank you, Lynn, thank you, Francine Witt, thank you. Who who suddenly became a grandmother again? Me? Yes. Uh, Charlene. Charlene. Yeah, well, thanks to uh, uh, Charlene Solis and Albert. Always a pleasure oh. having you here. Grab them by the ballot box. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bon voyage to you. Yeah. Free, thank you. Vernon, thank you. And Don, thank you. We'll be on tomorrow night doing a special edition of our nighttime show if any of you want to join it. Uh, because uh, it's election night and I, we want to watch the stuff coming in. What do you give us a time on that? What? When are you going to be on? Oh, 10 Eastern Daylight, Eastern Standard Time. Okay. I'm sorry, 10 or 10 30? 10 or 10 30? 30. 10 30. Eastern, yeah. yeah, and we'll do a whole thing with the, the election. Oh. So. And do we come to the same address? Yes, same, okay. same just address. Just want to let everybody know. Cabinet. Mm -hmm. Good. He, there's my true producer. He checks all the, <laughs> the information, man. Otherwise, they're not going to be there. Run way over the station in life. It's time for us to sign off with the immortal words of Edward Berger, who says, "That's all, folks." Bye, bye, everybody. <laughs> bye, we'll guys. see you in uh, two. Thank you. Bye, bye. Happy trails.